Hey guys, wanted to give a quick overview of how I monitor my Unraid system. Um, one thing, just as a disclaimer, keep in mind um, not all of my stats are showing with data correctly at this point. Um, this is a work in progress. I'm still working on getting everything configured uh, correctly. But uh, with that in mind, let's uh, get going here. Um, you can see that I've got uh, general CPU package and percentage stats. Uh, my temperatures for my hard drives and my CPUs are not currently being displayed because I'm still in the process of configuring that. Uh, same thing with network, but my memory is configured correctly and also my uh, hard drive stats are configured for the whole entire array, but the drive temps are not. I'm still working on, like I said, getting that uh, configured but I will show you the basic rundown of what you'll need in order to uh, take care of that. So with that in mind, let's uh, go ahead and take a look. There's going to be a couple things you're going to need. You're going to need Telegraph, InfluxDB, and Grafana, which are all in the Community Application Store, which you should already have installed. So first thing that you want to go ahead and do is let's set up a installing Telegraph, so you'll go ahead and download that and install it. Um, you will need to go ahead and follow this link right here, this GitHub link, to get the Telegraph config. You will download that and then you will need to edit that. Um, if you'll see right here, um, this is what you'll need to search for inside of the Telegraph config, and you will need to modify that correctly so that it points to your correct URL and port, which you should still leave the same as 8086, which is the stock InfluxDB port config, but you will need to have the correct IP configuration for whatever IP scheme that you use for Unraid, and then you will need to go ahead and put that into whatever your install directory is for Telegraph. Yeah, as an example here, it has mount cache app data Telegraph telegraph.config. So modify accordingly to whatever works for you. And then you will need to uncomment these steps as well in order for CPU, network, and docker, and temperatures to be monitored correctly, which is something that I need to go back and actually do myself. Um, then you will need to install Grafana. I went ahead and left everything as default. Um, I would do the same as well for yourself. Um, once you are done, you will need to install Telegraph as well. And then once you completed with that, then you can open up uh, Grafana and you will be brought to the, I, the main screen of Grafana as you can see uh, right here. And then you will need to go to the add source, and your source is going to be InfluxDB. So as an example, you would go over to here, and then you would go add, uh, where is that? I already have all of mine set up. I'm actually working on quite a few different ones here. I'm trying to integrate Plex and my Unify controller as well, but those are um, previous projects that I am working on. So you will go to the gear icon configuration, and then you will go to data sources and add, and then you need to make sure that you point your IP address to whatever your scheme is, and then it would be the IP address of the Unraid server itself, not the container in my instance, and then the 8086, and then the data source will be Telegraph and the user Grafana because those are the defaults that you will leave correctly. Uh, once you are done with that, then you will need to go over to another guide, which I will link you to as well. And then you would go to dashboards. And then you would say import and then you would put in the dashboard for Unraid right here, which would be 7233. 
Uh, once that is done and taken care of and it imports all of these settings correctly, you would then be brought back to your previous screen, which is up to here. Granted, this is, a, like I said, a very short, brief introduction, but I will leave the guides that I use to get this going. That way you can monitor your Unraid server as well. Obviously, your mileage and stats will verify and change depending on what it is that you are running for your particular setup. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys. Have a good one.